Hello and welcome to Kazu Bart. This is a short tutorial on observational drawing. First things first is line weight. So your lines can be very thin uh, like this or thick like this. And the reason um, to keep that in mind is that if you have a light source, let's say that the light source is right here, you can have thin lines right here near the light source and then thicker lines away from the light source and these can indicate shadow so if you can if you can bear this circle to this circle you know that this circle there is some kind of light source because um, there is a variation in the line weight and in here you have no idea if there even is a light source because the line weight is all the same right and also another thing very quickly yeah, you, you, you don't want to just do something like uh, have a very thin line like this and then immediately go thick like that. You do want to have a transition like this, right? So I can draw that again. Something like this, right? So yeah, that's that's line weight, right? Number one. Okay, number two, I basically went over principles here. So let's say that I'm drawing this pine cone, right? So instead of looking at every single detail here, like all of these small, um, smaller details, right? I'm looking at every everything that is a large form or a large shape. And I'm basically breaking it down into simplified shapes. So this is similar to my gesture drawing tutorial, where I, I just break down all of the large forms um, in a simplified manner. And then once I have it at this stage, I could just turn off the image and refine some things and then turn the image back on again and then add in smaller and smaller and smaller details right so for me it's it's always about looking at the big picture and working from there onto smaller and smaller details and then over here what i did is i looked at this image here that i made myself uh, and I basically recreated it here. And this is basically what observational drawing is. So you can either use images that you create or other people create and study those, right? Or the best thing really is to just go outside with a sketchbook um, or an iPad or something if you're more into digital stuff and just pick an object like a pine cone or maybe it's a tree and you and just draw it you know if it's an object like a pine cone you can just you can just set it down on the ground in all kinds of angles you can move around it and maybe if it's a tree you can just walk around that tree and just draw it from different angles or draw different portions of the tree so it's really up to you but really what you're doing is you're either again looking at images or going outside you're observing objects you're not just looking at at it passively you're like you're really observing what's the major form what are the what are the major shapes? Is there a pattern here? Is there not? How do I simplify this and draw it? And that's basically what you're doing. So yeah, I hope that this makes sense and that you learned something today.